I made this board to generate pulse width modulation. But it can also be used as a development board for uh, PIC 16F628A uh, microcontroller. Here is the microchip microcontroller. Here is the in circuit serial programming header. This. These are the breakout pins. Every connected pin of the microcontroller can be disconnected with these dip switches. This is the MAX232 uh, driver. Here are some bodge wires. You can probably put those wires on the top layer of your board. Uh, you can power this board with a 9 volt battery or AC-DC jack. And we are connected to the computer uh, via COM port, serial port. I made this application specifically for pulse suite modulation. First of all, you can select the COM port. Uh, then you can start the operation. Now you see we're outputting 5 kHz, 50% uh, duty cycle. In these fields you can type in uh, the values. Over here we have the course control of the frequency and the course control of the duty cycle. And these buttons on, on, on the side uh, they are uh, the fine control of the frequency and the fine control of the duty cycle. Up here in this corner we have the on time, the off time, uh, the period and the not duty. And here we have the status. Over here we have the preset. You can save the preset. Um, and if you restart or change your frequency and duty cycle, you can just load the preset. If you want to build this project, you will need the Visual Studio. Uh, we installed MFC, although I don't use it, but uh, somehow it needs the MFC and the source code for my application. You will need uh, MPASMX uh, and the uh, ASM source code. You will need a, a schematic file, you will need the PCB file. Also included in the download are uh, PNG pictures of PCB and the schematic and bill of materials. So yes, uh, all of these uh, things are included in the, uh, in the download on GitHub. So this is what the board looks like. And this is the logic part, part of the schematic. And this is the power section of the schematic. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.